Dr. Much, it was a few years ago, it was announced that parts of Missouri and Southern Illinois are in one of three U.S. hotspots uh, for colorectal cancer, where it's a particular problem. Um, and we were going to go ahead and show that map there, um, noting that. Um, it's along the, the southern part of the Mississippi River, including those parts of Missouri and Illinois, and then also West Central Appalachia and the, and the Virginia-North Carolina border. Um, now, deaths in these particular areas due to colorectal cancer are, are much higher than elsewhere. Uh, what seems to be going on in these areas more so than, than in others? Uh, short answer is I wish we honestly knew. I think that, you know, that it's definitely a combination of sort of genetics and environment, uh, meaning that, you know, our diets uh, and sort of what our sort of daily behaviors are, and I think we'll talk later or, early, or later about sort of sedentary and, and obesity and the impacts of all of those factors on colorectal cancer. I'm sure those all play into it. Uh, we definitely have a number of efforts going on here at Siteman to increase screening availability and efforts in those areas because it is important. Very good. And as you mentioned, um, there's another researcher here, Dr. Yin Kao, who uh, recently discovered that uh, there are, seem to be links to a higher risk of colorectal cancer in young people, um, younger people. She found that obesity uh, is associated with an increased risk for um, women who are younger than 50. And then also, as you mentioned, a sedentary lifestyle, which of course is sitting around too much, is linked to an increased risk for uh, men and women who are younger than 50. Um, are you seeing more younger uh, patients with colorectal cancer? Definitely. Uh, I would say that it, it, you know, it's, when I started practice, you know, 16, 17 years ago, it was more of a disease of 60s and 70s, and now it's clearly shifted to the 60s and 50s, and even younger. Uh, I think some, you know, some of the factors that you listed there as far as obesity and um, sedentary, and, and lifestyle. sedentary activity is colorectal cancer. There seems to be a underlying sort of inflammatory process associated with it. If you look at other sort of diseases such as ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease that are inflammatory based uh, diseases, they have a higher risk of developing colorectal cancer. And as we're learning more about our diet and high fats and processed foods is that those tend to be inflammatory as well. Okay. And you know, sort of even the sedentary lifestyle, believe it or not, tends to be a sort of a pro-inflammatory okay. state. Well 